he tests the car. Over the years, the racing car has changed, and the necessity for the sensitive and precise handling of the faster, lighter Grand Prix cars of the post-war era emphasized the need for a more subtle and controlled driving technique. Fangio, with his iron self-control and uncanny skill, met this demand with contemptuous ease to set a style that raised the art of racing driving to the height of a new science. Twenty years earlier, in 1937, that great French driver Jean-Pierre Vimille, then at the height of his fame, said of Fangio, I have seen at Buenos Aires a brilliant new driver. The day he has a real racing car to drive, he will perform miracles. The truth of that old prophecy is here for us to see.